I have an Android 5 smartphone here, but I don't have a data plan. And I need a GPS, so I downloaded a software called Here. It was uh, put out by Nokia. And you can use it as a GPS without a data plan. So here it is. So what you do, you have to select the option of use app offline and then you have to download a set of maps for yourself and uh, in my case it's just downloaded the maps for New York if you want more you can download more but each state for the US anyway is about four to five hundred max so I just downloaded New York if I knew if I need to go to New Jersey or Connecticut I would download another set so you download your maps set it to offline and uh, you can click drive and it says it's looking for the GPS right you can set your destination these are the places I had go gone to before and uh, Let's see here. Let's say Harbor Freight Tools. Okay. Click on that. It says getting route. 32 minutes to get there from here to Hampstead. Click start. And I'm actually sitting indoors. So when you're outdoors, the GPS would recognize your location quicker. So, see here. Let me bring this closer to the window here. Okay, I think it's recognizing it. After point one mile, turn left. Okay, so that's the start of your navigation. This is all in real time. And they estimate your arrival to be 221. Now you can also have like a, like a, not a printout, but a listing of the directions. It's sort of like the old triple A. Now turn left and then take the second right. Uh, trip tick where they give you a list of left or right turns or whatever. So in our case, you probably just want the GPS and the voice uh, direction. It doesn't really tell you uh, the name of the street to turn but it will tell you to turn in a quarter of a mile or exit or whatever so that's pretty good there's another software that I downloaded called Waze and it works but it doesn't have voice direction this one also um, you see the speed limit and you can set if you go over five miles uh, it will alert you like a dong dong something like that so it's uh, it's pretty good the only thing is the it didn't work for the first two weeks that I downloaded this app it only started working last week I don't know if this is a GPS issue and I know it is not something that After I did point one, because I try left. all the different options so now I'm gonna just cancel the uh, guidance I know it was it wasn't anything that I did so you can go to the settings and uh, you can choose options like what kind of voice you want mine is like a British uh, accent and you can also go to your settings of your smartphone if you're at home if you have Wi-Fi if you uh, turn it on 
if you turn on your Wi-Fi and set it to high accuracy, it would work right from your home very quickly. It will identify everything. But if you are where I am now, where I don't really have Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter what which setting you have. And uh, you can set it to device only because you you have no Wi-Fi anyway. But uh, like I said, when I first downloaded this, it didn't work, no matter which option I pick. So, like I said, it seems to be working okay now. It could be a satellite issue, I'm not sure. Um, let me see what else I can do. Okay, let's, tr let's try another one. Hello?